Yeah. This is wild. And Ted would have wanted to be like, have, I'm yeah. back. And he would have completely <laughs> enjoyed the story. Yeah. Absolutely. So we're back down here at the River Bend Park here in Bend, Oregon. The weekend is over. Guaranteed to find some new treasures for sure. And even if we don't, guaranteed to find some more trash. How many iPhones, Kiara? Three iPhones? Four iPhones? I've already pulled out of the river here. I'm betting we find what? One phone today, Kiara? Probably two. While you girls are dealing with the wind up here above, I'm gonna be underneath the water looking at the fish, finding some treasure, and having a lot of fun. Someday, Kiara, you're gonna come diving with me, right? No. Come on. Lots of treasure, lots of fish. I'm gonna hang out at the bridge a little bit longer today, because normally people not only drop stuff by it, but they throw stuff off the bridge. Sound good? Many goodies today. You're not gonna believe like everything we pulled out of here. Oh, I found a, a, a genie in a bottle, Kiara. I, don't, I actually don't know what it is. There's something in a bag here. It might be weed. Yeah, it could be weed. We, we do live in Bend. No, but, it's someone's ashes. Oh, is it ashes? I think so. Uh oh. Are we supposed to put these back in there? We should probably find out. Ted, I'm sorry. I'd like, did you want to be in the river? Here's the thing though. If Ted was supposed to be in the river, I don't think that they would have wanted him to litter. Did Ted fall in the river? Like, were they having like a beer with Ted up on the bridge and Ted fell in? Or what do you think happened? I think what we'll do is we'll ask some people passing by for, for their advice. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Good. All right, do you mind being in uh, my video here? I got 
got something really important. Okay. So I found a couple of cool things. I found uh, Jeremy's credit card, so if uh, you want to get anything for your dog, we can head over to Mud Bay and grab a few things for okay. your dog. We actually paddled over you while you are out there. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> found an uh, iPhone too, that completely wow. sealed, so we're going to charge that one up and find the owner. Here's my dilemma though. I found this in the river. It says Ted Foley on it, and I'm thinking Ted's in there. That's got to be Ted. So here's the thing. Was somebody having a beer with Ted on the bridge? Because that's right where I found it, and Ted fell in. So, so, so your theory on Ted? My theory on Ted is one of Ted's family members or friends were paddling out to scatter his ashes, fumbling with the urn, and accidentally dropped it into the river while they were trying to scatter his ashes. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to try to track down Ted Foley's family, find out if that's the story. It's, it's the best story that... I can think of so far. Give it back to them and see if they want to properly scatter Ted's ashes. Yeah, that's cool. Right Stay tuned. We're going to try to track down Ted's family. Thanks hey. for cleaning up the river. Hey, Appreciate absolutely. It, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by and giving me the theories of what happened on that one. Yeah, right on. Hey, have a good one. My wife thinks that I should put the ashes back where I found them, but like I said, normally people scatter ashes. Based on that theory and the theory that the other gentleman had, we're going to try to track him down and see if. We need to place them back in there where we found them, or if somebody actually wants to scatter the ashes of uh, Ted here. So that's what we're gonna do there. We're gonna be very careful with that and track that down. It's good news, everybody. We found the family and the owner of Ted Foley. They're super excited. I've heard that Ted was like, love the limelight. So this is like Ted's last 15 minutes of fame. Anyway, we're gonna package Ted up right now. We're gonna take him over to Bree, is who we're taking Ted to. We're gonna meet up with her on the exact bridge uh, where she can tell us the rest of her story. All right, let's go, Key. Well, you gotta get in. Let's go with. Come on. Back down here at Old Mill, this is where I found Ted Foley, right near this bridge here. So hold tight, and we'll see how the rest of the story goes. We ended up meeting up with the Bree, um, who was Ted's significant other at the time, as well as Valerie over here. <laughs> is uh, Ted's daughter. So we have both of them that actually came out here to join us today. We have a uh, Bend River Park that is up here, which is where I, I ended up uh, putting in at. And then I have underwater footage coming through here. And part of that day, I ended up finding an iPhone uh, that was still in a waterproof seal that I found. I also found uh, this beautiful, here, I'll let you open this up. Oh, this is really bizarre. This isn't the lid. Well, th this that's is that's right because that's too big of the lid. This is the, bigger lid. This is the urn, though, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, this is my this is my lid. So I mean that that, but that's not the right that's not the lid that you dropped. Well, no. she'll tell you the story. Oh, oh, okay. You, you tell me oh, first. Okay. So 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 as I'm scuba diving down, I ended up finding this, and it's kind of this is sitting flat, and this is sideways with the bag kind of hanging out. First of all, I'm thinking this is an Indian teapot of some sort, and that somebody was enjoying the river for the day and they ended up dropping their weed in the water is what we thought. My bag and, and all the garbage I had that day was getting really heavy. Normally I make it down to the other bridge and I pull out there, but it was really heavy. So I ended up pulling out here on the grass over here. That's when I saw that there was a name on here. And so I was asking some passerbyers as well, you know, what do you think, the, you know, the, the story with this could be, you know, are we really looking at human remains here? And with that, what do you think the theory is? And then that's when we ended up tracking uh, Valerie and her family down on Facebook, uh, getting a hold of her brother Kevin first. And then uh, Kevin said, oh, hey, Valerie's actually coming up to town, and why don't you get in touch with her? And so, so that's why Valerie's in town this week from uh, California. And then I was getting together to meet with Bree, and so then I copied and pasted and texted her the, because these were her ashes. Uh -huh. So I wanted her to decide what she would like to do with them and then and then the story that you told me today. and the story that happened was um in 2012 i came here after ted had died and um it was a windy blistery day it was you know supposed to be like this hollywood like this beautiful say your prayer and the ashes spread you know and just a beautiful moment and i actually had two little urns with me that day uh -huh. um this urn i must have lost the same day. This is the urn that I tried opening to spread and it tumbled into the river and I was right over here. Uh -huh. And I tried getting it open, I had a bag, I'm bent down and I try opening it and it just literally, it's gone. I've got the lid to this uh -huh. at, at home somewhere. Oh, I weird. went to look for it. The other one literally must have tumbled out of the bag. 
because so I do. There's burn another that goes urn. With that. So, so what you're saying is I need to search this area some more. This area. To see if I can find. You will find another the one, one that another. goes to this. Okay. And you've given us an opportunity to have that moment in a much calmer state of mind than just after. And I really appreciate it. Well, nice. I'm glad that we this. could do that for you. Well, I appreciate you letting us uh, share your story with, with, you know, not just us, but, you know, letting it share it with uh, other That's people as well. a remarkable story. Yeah. This is wild. And Ted would have wanted to be would've, like, would've, I'm yeah. back. And he would have completely enjoyed the story. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so Ted's so, back from Ted's 2012 back. for his last 5, 10, 15 minutes of fame here. So, Ted, yeah. this is for you. So, in the comments below, be like, Go Ted! Go Ted! <laughs> yeah. That's right. So uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll be putting him in a new location. Yes. Yeah, so yes. so we'll let you Much guys safer. do that in a you know in your own private setting, your own Thank family you. environment. So Thank again, you. I appreciate Thank you so sharing this with us, Thank Valerie. You. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I know it started out as a uh, weird story last week. We contacted family and. Yeah. A very good detective work on yeah. your end. Very good, and you know, happy findings. Yes. yes. <laughs> yep. So we'll be looking for the other urn that's somewhere in this area. Yes. Um, so as Valerie or as Bree was saying, she was down here on the riverbank somewhere, so there is another urn that later on the, uh, next week when we go diving, we'll see what we can do to find it. And when we do so, we've got Bree's number this time, we won't have to do as much detective work and we'll get that back to her. So that makes me feel really good that we actually got the uh, urn and Ted back to the appropriate family. Uh, they're gonna go have their own private ceremony, you turn on the little bell notification, so that way you can get first notice of stories like this, new videos that are coming out. Down. Do, 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 do